All right, what's up, Dev Heads? Welcome back to uh, Dev Games 3085. I'm gonna continue a project called Battle of the Mics. It's a musical, lyrical, multiplayer game where two uh, performers compete, and the points is influenced by the audience. Let me show you what I got. That's a quick recap. Play. So right here we have three players, and this is currently just a prototype. But when you, but for now, I made a teleporter that would take you to the stage, a random stage, and then other performer will also be taken to a random stage. But we will have to uh, remove that and take you to the blue stage instead. But anyways, the points, as you can see, is being influenced by the audience. So if I go to the right, the right performer, the red performer will get a point. And if I go to the left, the blue performer will get a point. And as you can see, there's a timer. So uh, I guess the timer will trigger once both players are at the stage. Do you have any questions? What, what do you What do you like? What, do you like it so far? Yeah, it's actually like very growing pretty good. Oh, yeah. So what, what look, you... here, let me show you real quick. Yeah. So right now, when I uh, the performers will hit the teleporter and they'll be taken to a stage. And with this one, so as you can see. Two performers will be and going head to head. Be yeah, yeah, but this is just the trigger for now. The oh, prototype. Yeah. Okay, I can. I can Don't move the mic too much, because I know I'm sorry it fell off. <laughs> like this. All right, and then uh, look at here. The performer will influence the score by going left and right. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so if I go to the right, right, yeah, the red team will get a point. If I go to the left, the blue team will get a point. But I, but I see a bug. What bug? If the performer leaves the area, it should subtract point. Subtract point? Yeah, so like, let's say I'm a blue team. When I leave, it should subtract point, you know? Because I'm no longer at yeah, voting right. for that person. So, let's start off with that. Oh yeah, because you were going back and forth, it was just adding. It was not Okay, yep. Let's see what we did. did two, I guess I did two actors. Let's go to our concept folder. Blue score and red score. So, go ahead and work on the blue score. As you can see here, we did an overlap. So what we need now is hit the box lighter and do a, we're gonna do a on component and overlap. That way we can subtract the points. I'll just copy and grab this from the main character. And I guess we could copy the whole thing, but instead of addition, we'll do subtraction. That simple, track, and we'll subtract one to the groups. Let's go ahead and give you the same thing for the red. Pretty much copy this. We get the box first and do on component and over that. You'll see it on yours. Yeah, for okay. okay, so go ahead and drag that. Right, but again, we're going to do a subtraction here. Track, add it to the red score. So you add the variable here with the integer that you want to subtract the amount of subtraction you want here. You could, I could do this increment integer, but because I want to control the value, I do it this method. Go ahead and hit compile, and we got an error because we did not drag the other act. We will compile again, and it worked. So let's see if the scoring system works how we intend to. Does it work? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, that? that's okay. That's great. That's great. And then I go to the red team. Crabs. Perfect. Exactly how we want it. Now, instead of getting teleported randomly to a stage, let's go ahead and then trigger a method on how we can teleport the players. So we're in music and beat, any things, we'll no longer need to play screen, make this one. Gotta clean up the code a bit. Okay, let's work on the teleporter for now. This is the BP portal. You can see we have it, so we can teleport it with a random instrumenter. We're no longer doing a random integer. We're gonna do a gonna do it by order. So what we're gonna do is delete this, make a let's see, submit the integer variable. What? Call it spawn number and change the variable type to an integer. Make sure we compile so we can just number and we'll set it to or should place it here on the get. When we first Use a teleporter, I'll spawn the character to the zero spawn number. So after it's used, we can increase spawn number two, I guess, or to one, because zero is considered one in programming. Really? Yeah, it's That's confusing. Funny. That is funny. Yeah, I know. It's something you get. I mean, zero to. is a number. Exactly. In programming, zero is like a placeholder. But initially, it's yeah. kind of like one. Yeah, but you know what? Math and, math and coding are good. Yeah, so let's go ahead and test if the teleporter is not working. Okay. So in theory, we should be teleported to a spawn point. 
zero. And here we should be teleplay to blue. No, it's, it's working, yeah. Slicker. But we have a problem. If a third player hits the teleporter, it'll be taken to uh, blue. Yeah, it should have like so, a So to do this, to uh, prevent this from happening, we will have to make this trigger two times. I know there's better methods, but for now, the best way I could think of doing this is the let me think. Okay, how well we could do maybe we could just increase the spawn number. Wait, what are you so trying to do about maybe like? No, so what we're trying to do right now is get the teleport to be used two times because there's only gonna be two performers. Yeah. We don't want another Wait, what player what? join the stage. What if of another person? What if of uh, a performer lead? Did yeah, you? that's gonna be more uh, the details. Right now, we're just tr trying to get the basic logic. The basic, yeah. And then later on, we'll start. We'll but that's a good idea. I have to write. I have to write down on the notes. Actually, you know what? Let me start creating a note. What happens if performer as a uh, if piece this? Do it add about it one. Do this. Do this. To run a check. If spawn number equals three, get the blank. Or uh, actually, eat this with data in. A re blue. This would be pulp. This plus this add blue. And this should not trigger in theory. Oh shoot, we got outside of the map. We are all triggered, but that was weird to see what happened. Oh, you know what? It's supposed to be two. And that I forgot about the zero again. Let's see. It. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now it should trigger. Yay, we did it. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. So now since the stage is filled up, we can no longer spawn in the stage, so we won't we won't interrupt the performance. Yeah, okay. okay. But I see a problem with score. It started with one. We have to start with zero. So we'll adjust it by just simply getting the score variable. True score is controlled by the game state. Really? Why? Because the game state is replicated with the, to the server and the client. Really? Yeah. You could communicate variables in the game state. Yeah, I like putting variables there. We could talk to each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, networking is kind of easy in that aspect. Anyways, play was up to it. I don't know. I think this helps stick. Yeah, if I happen. Yeah. So we need to find a way to not give player uh, player score if the performers are not on stage. Okay. I guess I can create a area here. I like doing on the game state. Uh, giving point. Okay. Game state or on the portal. Hmm? If you look at the stream, that's a good idea. I don't know. I, I like I could put copy, right? No, I know, but like, I don't know. It's this, it's this tech now and quite. No, it's random. It's back. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I, I was hearing that music and I thought it was coming from me. Oh, no. So, what I could do is if spawn numbers refers to what you need to start in the thing state, the state, or from your branch to verify that. So, if it equals one on true, but we have to first rule will get all right there we'll set but we'll set it oh shit and since we got an error we need to compile on the game state do we get rid of it there you go now that we have a variable that controls the points we have to use the variable on the red reduce bar so what we do what we'll do first is call the game state part of it this is gonna check if the point system has started so get points start points okay so Gotta get a branch to verify if the point system has started. So if it has started, we can start um, adding and subtracting points. Now let's think about this more closely. We need to start off with not being checked as false, so that's correct. I guess started are given players. Okay, great. So let's copy and also apply this to the subtraction. Okay, perfect. Now since we did it to the blue score, we have to apply this to the red score. Do a simple copy and paste. Hit file. Now again, main objective here was to not apply points if the game hasn't started. So let's see. You can see. Are you about? Yeah, th there's no points given to any team because the stage the stage is not filled. Okay, okay, okay. That's how you. So that. now, let's get stages filled. Let's test with one. So we got a bug. See that. Okay, we're one stage is filled. Okay, so uh, okay, so you mean really like subtract it? So where like there's a where so, one person's field, the only point will go to that one person. Right. Well, the point system shouldn't be starting when the stage is not filled. You know, 
Look at that too. Well, I'm just I guess we gotta go back to the portal. We did something wrong. Okay, so no points are given with one performer. Perfect. All right, let's try T. All right, oh, there you go. Oh, it's working great. Right. The point decreases and increases depending on what side we're at. Oh. This is exactly what we needed to do. Let's add more players. Just test this more accurately. Add more player. A lot of pages. <laughs> so many NPCs. Put one over here, and things are tied. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see if what happens if two people vote, and blue team is winning on this side. Perfect. So it falls it right? Yeah. Oh. All right. Our voting system is has made huge progress. All right. So now what can we do? Oh, the HUD is kind of annoying right now, so let me just make it visually pleasing. Wow, you doing um aesthetics first? Wow. I know, right? Usually. So not like. That's that's uh, that's so not me. It is not. I'm just gonna. I I mean, you kind of gotta work on that aspect of game design. Yeah, you. Okay, right. well, let's s. Okay. The music you actually plays really calming. Sorry, I'm not playing Taylor Swift. Hey, I like. It's way better than Taylor, I gotta say that. Taylor could never. Just eyeballing right now. Just forced me close to the time, pal. Triggered my OCD. Oh, the yeah. forced me close to the uh, time? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is not working. Perfect. Now, lastly, I think what I'm gonna do is trigger the timer when the pages are filled. Go ahead and do that. Well, let's go to the game state. Or, oh, it was out of here. Let's see the timer is being controlled by this vet and it's also being controlled by a variable so what we could do is on portal on portal we will turn on the timer timer yeah this stage is set to how how long are you make it actually the timer yeah i don't know maybe i could give uh the server or the host the option to extend the timer. yeah to set the timer but okay what is the max so like the minimum and then the max i mean how long can people perform for? Maybe three, four minutes, five. Uh, I think I think like, I can just give no, no. I think two minutes at least for like a song, and then they can expand it to five minutes, and that's the max. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So for now, for testing purposes, let's just do one minute. I mean, yeah, one minute to five minutes, and that's they. No, can for testing it. right now. Oh, testing. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. But I still have to uh, program in the custom stuff yeah, yeah yeah right now it's just testing so we'll do one minute and 30 seconds okay so what i want to do now is start the timer when the stages are filled in order to do that we will have to trigger the timer variable on the game state so since we have the game state state already cast we can just simply like the timer here or get the timer variable not in get but set there you go but here we can start it. We can set it to true, and then we'll go back to the game state. And yes, it will no longer call this here or set it here. And if the timer is set to true, the timer will start. Okay, let's see if this works. Timer is stuck at one thirty. Perfect. I go on the stage. It's still not starting. So let's okay, so I have to wait for no. We need, we need to fill both stages. So it's yeah, for the time to start. Exactly. Let's see if this works. Red stage is filled. Red I'll say the next thing you should and, work on will probably be the, and the timer starts. Yeah, that's great. Let's start. I think one thing you should uh, work on. No, you know what? I should work on the winner and the loser. Well, I, when the no, timer I, runs out, depending on who has the last uh, vote or the most votes. Yeah, well, the most votes wins. Right, but, yeah. Let's actually, actually, I can do that pretty fairly quickly. I mean, yeah, you could do that, but I'm just saying, like, um. Maybe in next the next episode for this, but um, you should um, maybe work on like the people's view when they perform, oh, and you, then yeah, and then at what like and then also like, aren't you gonna think uh, about what's called like having them just go off to the side to make their own rapper song for like a good thirty seconds? Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, like you want to like a like a they pull them like out. a practice. Uh, no, they pull them out for 30 seconds mm -hmm. to write down whatever their lyrics and mm -hmm. then they could perform. Yeah. What their lyrics showing on. So I have to create more or less like two timers. Yeah, you, well, you need to create yeah. two timers. You need to create their personal view. Right, right. 
and then you need to create like um what's it called their view when they're on stage like the yeah. first person view when they're actually on stage right and then maybe like their notes or something they wrote down comes up like writing on on the bottom of their computer yeah. or, like bottom of the screen sorry well we'll we'll, we'll plan that out yeah, well, I'm just saying maybe next episode, but, like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's a good thing to focus on, as in, like, coding-wise, wouldn't it? So, right now, let's start off with um, displaying the winner by adding the text here in the middle of your screen. And we'll uh, placehold it by putting, put some placeholder, uh, a placeholder text. You are the winner. What? Oh, so. you are the winner. <laughs> that is sad. That is so sad. I was annoyed. Change that one. Why? The song was funny. Oh, it's still playing I'm on your stream, lol. No, uh, that's not it. Let's call it winner display. Okay, set the size of this to 50. Anchor this to the center so I won't get play. You see, now you are a winner. <laughs> you are a winner. Yay! Okay. But we do not want this to trigger the beginning of the game. We should trigger only after the game when the word timer and yeah i will replace winner with the player's name but for now it's gonna be pro broadcast to everyone when the round is when the timer is up. you should just change you are a winner into something better <laughs> later on oh well, what do you have in mind i don't know like it's great to know that you're a winner but i mean like making exciting well yeah like i said it's just a placeholder no i know as i said later on though. oh yeah of course it's just fun. and i could I, I could make something Yay. Sign it. I got a JPEG. And then it's our endless. All right. So, anyways, let's go ahead and trigger this event by let's see. Click on the text. Let's set the binding visually. I guess. I guess we can hide it. Visibility. Okay. So we're gonna start it as hidden. And we're gonna create a binding on when to display this text. So now let's go back to our guest game state and let's just not use this for now. And let's make a new variable. Call it uh, timer oh, is over or is done. So we're going to set this variable to true once the timer is done. And let's replicate this to the host. And all the other clients can see, uh, can see that the timer is done. Perfect. And when the timer is done, we'll have to get the game state here. We'll cast it to, we'll cast it to gas game state that we created. Connect the sphere. And then we're going to grab timers variable and then we'll stick a branch here not to do a shortcut to get the branches just hold b and click they do multiple branches that way there's a shortcut anyways just, just, just a little shortcut anyways if the branch is true <laughs> we're gonna wow okay here well i'm on your mic what the... you mean okay so this should be some note texting like he's carrying perfect Let's uh, make the timer shorter so we can test out this uh, new addition. Let's go back to the game state. Lower the minutes to zero. I like about yeah, 30 seconds. Suffice. Add three flares to the mix. Perfect. Let's fill out the stages so that timer can trigger. Okay. There you go. Don't timer. you need another view? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So timer's running now. Upon timer. Right, 18, 17. Yeah. 16, we should, 15, in theory, get that 14, uh, 13, message. Wow. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3, 2, 1. Ding, ding. You're a there winner. There you go. There you go. All right. Ha ha ha. You're a winner. All right. So we finally got the message. And guess this concludes our uh, live streaming for today next episode what we're gonna work on is the what's called the performer's point of view the performer's point of view probably um integrate adding the name of the winner okay just focus on the performer's point of view at first because yeah, i yeah. feel like this is gonna take a bit no it's not adding the name of the performer no i mean focusing like okay that's just a little a little tiny detail but i'm just saying focusing on like their point of view mm -hmm. on you like, mean like adding first person no no adding the first person adding their like the lyrics adding the way like how it's set up in their screen okay. and then adding like the notes when they're not like before performance mm -hmm. and stuff like that like that's that's what but the lyrics doesn't that come off from the player's um head huh no it, what i mean they kind You're of write adding the lyrics 
No, I mean like they write down the lyrics quickly, mm. like they're thirty seconds. They think of some lyrics, write oh, it down, okay. and then during their performance, like bef- um, like the notes right after the performance. Got it. Oh uh, no, w- before the performance, and then after- so giving them some time to get ready with their uh, performance. song, yeah, their okay. song or rap, and then when they actually performing, they probably would like write down whatever they wrote down on their behind screen for like actually like say it no i think that should come from the head it's a performance no but if they said there's no point writing out. i could just give them time and they could perform it i mean depending if I'm you're singing saying, no, no, if I'm you're saying, singing no, no. i'm just no i'm saying that mm-hmm. because not everyone like knows how to rap not everyone knows to see right. so they're just playing these games just because of fun sake sure, sure. so if we have that it can give them a little help while performing even those people like okay, that okay. know how to do on the top of their head mm-hmm. it'll be nice to the people that don't and they can make us still play their game okay okay so i'm just saying it comes with each to everyone even the people that even knows how to rap from their head from what they wrote I or see, like freestyle yeah, 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 yeah. it would be nice to have it like rolling down and show okay. up for them like um, thirty minutes to a minute mm-hmm. for them to have time to write. Oh, okay, whatever. like a little notes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then I'll have to work on an input box for that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's gonna take a bit. Yeah. So like a whole live stream, probably a whole. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, Devheads. Okay. On next episode. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in and like and subscribe if you like enjoy what you see. Thank you.